Thank you, James. Now, you know, uh, my colleague here is a unique piece of work. His uh, voice is all his own. So is his face. Yeah. You can say that again. Yeah. So is his fingerprint. There it goes, a work of art. There it is. And indeed his iris. Look at that. Oh, you can tell you were out partying last night. Mm -hmm. Certainly was. Uh, using computers, it's possible to identify us by these and other unique characteristics. That's what biometrics is all about. And as the one shows Lucy Siegel discovered, it's not just airlines applying this controversial science. <laughs> Air travel. Until someone invents a way to beam us all up, thousands will continue to fly. But if they aren't put off by the carbon emissions, then what about the queues? Well, it seems like there could be a way round these as well. Just need your passport, please. Thank you. And this is the queue busting secret, leaving a unique part of your identity on the airport database. Yeah. Oh, I've been a bit nervous. Oh, no, no need to be nervous at all. It's really, really easy to use, really quick as well. Oh, what exactly is this going to take a picture of? Um, it's going to take a photograph of your iris pattern, which is unique to every individual. Now, are people uh, worried about you storing this information? This information is just stored, stored by, the, by immigration. It's not passed on to anybody else at all. Have um, you just moved to your right a little bit for me? Yeah, that's, that's great, yeah. Yep, that's done. That's it. Now, three, two, one, two. Manchester Airport handles 614 flights a day. 60,000 passengers pass through the terminals, attended by a huge workforce of 22,000. Security is a major concern here, so they've been trialling iris recognition for staff. The man behind the technology is Neil Norman. So Neil, what are biometrics? Uh, biometrics are uh, uh, basically all the unique features on a human being um, that enable us to, to automatically identify people through technology. So for example, the fingerprint is the most obvious one that people think about, but there's your iris, uh, your voice, uh, uh, your, your face, and a whole series of, of other means of, of identifying you. The biometric is just the identity. The thing that we really want to secure is the information that the identity releases in effect. And we've been living in a world for the past 15, 20 years where banks and government have been holding information against us. So what the biometric actually does, it actually better secures that information. Lunch at St Paul's in Liverpool is an altogether more advanced affair than I remember of my school days. Here, the fingertip is the new canteen currency. Well, there are basically three ways uh, which biometrics would help in our school. The first one is with the administration. That's allowing us to get 250 children through in a short period of time during dinner time, which allows the children to get out quicker. No money actually is exchanged at the, uh, the point of sale, so the stigma is taken away from free school meals. And also, we're hoping that in the long term, parents will be able to actually find out what their children are eating at school. At St Paul's, this info won't be going anywhere. The real concern is what could potentially happen to the information stored about us on government databases. Is biometric data really that secure? Some say not. Even though we're reassured that information will be kept secure, often human error can mean that, that, that information does get mislaid, lost, and can be used for inappropriate purposes. We also should be aware that the police and other agencies do actually have access to that information. What all of us do is value our privacy, and we need laws in place to ensure that the government appreciates the value that we should place on that privacy. definitely the way to do it. No more queuing for me. And I'm not the only one to see the benefits. Construction companies are also starting to use it. Well, we looked at biometric technology to, uh, to control access onto the building site. The biometric system that we use is just a reader that purely recognises an individual and lets them through the turnstile. Initially, people were slightly reticent about using it because uh, some people think that maybe we're going to take the fingerprints and use their identity. 
But I think the more and more that people actually use the system, they can realise the benefits of it. So airports, construction sites and even schools are all boldly going where no man has gone before. Whom or what will be next? Beam me up. With Beam Blue down here. I was disappointed to 